English Easy Practice. Do you want to learn English in a fun and easy way? And boost your speaking skills quickly? Then, welcome to our new story lesson to improve your English speaking skills. Now we will have a three part exercise. Part one Listening practice. Part two Vocabulary. Part three Listen and answer practice. Watch this video till to the end to improve your English fast. Now, are you ready to train your brain to speak English fluently? Let's get started. Part 1 English Listening Practice In the first part, you'll listen to a short story. Try to focus on the meaning of the story when you listen to it. This will improve your listening comprehension. The Last Straw There was a man named Tom. He worked at an office. Every day, his boss gave him more and more work. The only joy in Tom's work life was his sandwich. Every day, he looked forward to lunchtime when he could finally relax and enjoy it. One day, Tom went to the break room, but his sandwich was gone. Someone had taken it. That was the last straw for Tom. He stormed into his boss's office and said, I quit. His boss was surprised. Why are you quitting, Tom? Tom replied, You gave me too much work, and now someone stole my sandwich. The boss looked embarrassed. Actually, Tom, I ate your sandwich, but I'll make it up to you. I'll double your salary and give you a full lunch every day. Tom shook his head. No, I don't want that. I only have one condition. A high security fridge for my sandwiches. The boss agreed and from then on, everyone was happy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Part 2. Learn Vocabulary Now, let's explore some new words together in our vocabulary section. I'll explain a few words and use them in example sentences to help you grasp their meaning easily. Vocabulary The last straw. When something bad happens and it's the final thing that makes you upset or angry. Example. Tom was already tired from work, but losing his sandwich was the last straw. To storm in. To go in somewhere quickly and angrily. Example. After Tom lost his sandwich, he stormed into his boss's office. Make it up to. To do something nice for someone because you did something wrong before. Example. Tom's boss said, I'll make it up to you by giving you a full lunch every day. Shook his head. To move your head from side to side to say no. Example. 
Tom shook his head when his boss offered him more money. I want to remind you something, guys. Repetition is very important to become fluent in English. So, watch this video many times. Try to answer the questions out loud and you will improve your speaking skills quickly. Part 3. Listen and Answer Practice Time for some interactive practice. I will ask many questions about the story. Try to answer them out loud before I reveal the correct answers. This will boost your speaking and listening skills. Repeat this exercise every day until you can say the answers quickly and confidently. Answer the questions out loud. There was a man named Tom. What was there? A man. There was a man. Was there a woman? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a woman. There was a man. What was his name? His name was Tom. He worked at an office. Did he work at home? No, he didn't. He didn't work at home. Where did he work? At an office. He worked at an office. Every day, his boss gave him more and more work. Did his boss give him less work? No, his boss didn't give him less work. What did his boss give him? More work. His boss gave him more work. Was Tom happy about this? No, he wasn't. He wasn't happy about this. The only joy in Tom's work life was his sandwich. Was his pizza the only joy in Tom's work life? No, the only joy in his work life wasn't pizza. What was Tom's only joy? His sandwich. Tom's only joy was his sandwich. Every day he looked forward to lunchtime when he could finally relax and enjoy it. Did Tom enjoy his work? No, he didn't. He didn't enjoy his work. What did Tom enjoy? His sandwich. He enjoyed his sandwich. One day, Tom went to the break room, but his sandwich was gone. Where did Tom go? To the break room. He went to the break room. What was gone? His sandwich. His sandwich was gone. Someone had taken it. Had someone taken his sandwich? Yes, someone had taken it. That was the last straw for Tom. Was that the last straw for Tom? Yes, it was. That was the last straw for Tom. 
What was the last straw for Tom? The theft of the sandwich. The theft of his sandwich was the last straw for Tom. Did Tom stay calm? No, he didn't. He didn't stay calm. He stormed into his boss's office and said, I quit. Where did Tom go after his sandwich was gone? To his boss's office. He went to his boss's office. Did Tom say, I'm happy? No, he didn't. He didn't say, I'm happy. What did Tom say? I quit. Tom said, I quit. His boss was surprised. Why are you quitting, Tom? Was his boss angry? No, he wasn't. He wasn't angry. He was surprised. Why was his boss surprised? Because Tom said, I quit. Tom replied, You gave me too much work, and now someone stole my sandwich. Did Tom think the work was too little? No, he didn't. He thought the work was too much. What happened to Tom's sandwich? It was stolen. Someone stole his sandwich. The boss looked embarrassed. Actually, Tom, I ate your sandwich, but I'll make it up to you. Who ate Tom's sandwich? His boss. His boss ate Tom's sandwich. Was Tom happy about that? No, he wasn't. He wasn't happy. In fact, he got more and more angry. I'll double your salary and give you a full lunch every day. What did the boss offer Tom? Double his salary and a full lunch. Tom shook his head. No, I don't want that. I only have one condition. Did Tom nod his head? No, he didn't nod his head. Did Tom shake his head? Yes, he did. He shook his head and said, No, I don't want that. Did Tom accept the offer? No, he didn't. He didn't accept the offer. A high security fridge for my sandwiches. Did Tom want to triple his salary? No, he didn't want to triple his salary. What did Tom want instead? A high security fridge for his sandwiches. The boss agreed and from then on, everyone was happy. Did the boss agree to Tom's condition? Yes, he did. He agreed to Tom's condition. Was everyone happy in the end? Yes, they were. Everyone was happy in the end. 
Listen and answer method is very powerful for learning English the easy way and improving your speaking skills quickly. You can visit our website, EnglishEasyPractice.com, to get our course. Download our audio English stories together with the PDF text of the lessons and start speaking English with our fun stories now. Great job on completing the English speaking practice. Keep watching this video every day for one week and repeat the exercises to see significant improvements in your English skills. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. Happy learning! Thanks for watching, guys. Now, I recommend you watch this great video, too. It will help you to improve your English skills, and you will love it, I promise.